are in a cozy little tent. Because one was like, ah, and I was like, ah. The tent is right in front of the huge tank. It's heavy. We are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. Hello everybody, Hi. we are in a cosy little tent with the view of the Arctic and we haven't travelled very far. No. <laughs> and we are looking forward to sharing our day with you. We're at Bird Paradise to experience glamping with penguins. First on the agenda, checking in and meeting our guides. This is the second time we've been here. The first time it was beautiful blue skies. It's really raining, it's coming down heavy. It's been rainy season lately, but loads of stuff is covered, thankfully, so we can still enjoy everything anyway. Let's go. It's really, really nice having Anthony, Uncle Anthony as our guide, which is really cool. He's telling us lots of uh, information about the park that we didn't know before, like, this used to be an orchid farm essentially where they would grow orchids for the country uh, before sending them out and also how the bird park looks after all of the native birds to this area as well not just the birds that are here in the Averys so which is great last time we were here we did not get on the tram but we're about to do that now which is very very nice so looking forward to our ride huh? Uh, that was our first time on the tram and it was great. We didn't use it last time because actually it's laid out so well that we could just walk around without any problems. But right now um, it was great to be able to use it because it's raining. And the other great thing is how <clears throat> there's so much that's covered. We haven't once had to step out under the rain. Uh, we've been on the tram, we've been walking through because look. Covered. Covered the whole time. So it's great. We're going to go and check out the Wings of Asia which we've already shown you before on our last video here, so if you're interested in checking it out, there is so much uh, for you to see. Go check out our video uh, on Bird Paradise. Glad we're not camping outside. <laughs> last time we came here, it was one of the first opening weekends and it was really, really busy, so it's actually really nice to come back. Um, this place is kind of empty at the moment and it's really nice again having Anthony telling us lots of information, answering questions, like telling us about the kinds of eggs, which things I've never thought about before. So. Coming here it's really worth coming like again and again because you see things differently but also spending a bit of time in these areas to kind of look through everything is really good too. Having done the Wings of the World show before, we didn't realise that this whole thing is covered which is pretty amazing. It's a, an enormous canopy, you can probably just about hear the rain uh, or I said just about, it is quite loud. But what I love about this is that there's a real exclusive feel to it. We had reserved seats out for us. So if you've never been to the bird paradise before, but you want to come and do this whole experience, you get to experience the whole thing and you're really, really well looked after. Yeah, it's kind of like VIP experience, which is really nice. It's nice that you're kind of looked after and everything's planned so we can just wander around freely and enjoy everything without kind of having to think about what time's this, what time's that. Right. We can just go around and enjoy everything as it is. Make sure you catch the two presentations at Sky Amphitheatre to learn more about the bird species at the park and around the world too. Get your cameras ready for some flying acrobatics as they show off their skills. Happy that was a cool little show. It was different to the show that we saw when we were here last time. Uh, this one's called Wings of the World and so it was great. We have now got an exclusive interaction with the birds now which is really exciting and it's part of the package if you come here and stay here and do your glamping with the penguins. to take a photo I like how and being like close up to them looks really cool they have lots of texture in their feathers and their beaks look really cool for me they were scary because one was like ah! and I'm like ah! and then one of them was like hopping up and down yeah one was hopping like this and then they're like Ooh. with the wings and with their necks they're like Ooh. and she likes to like <laughs> 
<laughs> Along with this experience at the end, um, you get to go first to go and have your photos taken with the birds, which is really cool. You don't have to wait, especially if you're coming with kids. Sometimes they're going to be a bit fed up waiting and then you end up with them pulling a grumpy face in a photo. But we get to go first, which is cool. And now we're being um, escorted um, to dinner at one of my favorite places, which yeah, I'm happy about. We also don't have to wait in line for the tram. Woohoo! I love old Chanky. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Despite Lily being a curry puff connoisseur, we've got a load of the different meals here, which is great. And um, we're splitting up and sharing all sorts of different meals, which is great. We're very much looking forward to it, and I think we're all quite hungry, so looking forward to tapping into dinner now. That was a good dinner. We feel full. We've actually got another 15 minutes until we need to be back at the old Chunky restaurant before we go back into the park. But we're just taking a few moments just to enjoy the grounds and uh, wandering around this covered area and uh, really, really looking forward to everything that the evening still holds. Although the bird paradise is now closed, there's a um, string of restaurants, um, cafes and ice cream place outside as well. And they're open till about 8 p.m. It's 10 to seven, the rain clouds have gone and we have been left with this beautiful, beautiful sky. There are a lot of play areas out here, but this one, mostly, they're all wet. We don't know where we're going, we're just following, but it's quite nice that there's lots of little surprises along the way. I think we're going to school. So when you um, have this experience, your bags are kept safe for you and looked after, so you don't have to carry suitcases and stuff around with you. So um, yeah, we're picking up our stuff now and then going to the tents real soon, which I'm very excited about. As part of this experience, there are hot showers that we can take advantage of, but uh, we're doing it in shifts. And so we are taking an exclusive night walk of uh, the bird paradise, where it's all after hours, no one else no is walking here. around just us, what you can hear is just the wild and the children. The wild children. The wild children. Um, but it's great um, and it's nice to be able to hear a little bit more about the nature that's here beyond the aviaries. So we have colugas here which are like gliding lemurs that I didn't even know were um, native to Singapore and they're here and we're looking out for them trying to keep quiet um, so we don't scare them away. That was a cool little walk outside. We didn't, we didn't go far, but it's nice to just wander around the park after hours. So we've got the bags, and we're just gonna grab some things for showers and take a shower before we finally go to the tents. So, so we've, oh. Yeah, you go. Okay, uh, we've had showers. We've had a bit of a briefing about what's to come in the evening. Um, they said there's a few surprises along the way, which I really like actually. Mm. Um, kind of a bit of a mystery about this experience. So now we're gonna head over to Penguin Cove. Oh, this is the part where we're gonna go in. Welcome to your tent! Penguins! It's very good. This is so cool. Our tent is right in front of the huge tank. The penguins are really active. I don't know whether it's just because it's kind of night time. I guess in here they don't have night time or daytime though. I don't know. <laughs> Sure do the do. penguins have daytime and nighttime? I'm sure. Anyway, this is amazing. The tents are set up really cool. There's like some little fake grass outside. There's a picnic basket full of snacks for the kids. There's little like goodie bags on the bed as well for the kids. Fairy lights. Yeah, this is fun. There's lots of exciting chatter, which is one of the things I love about camping. That kind of yeah, you can sure. hear everybody talking, which is nice and enjoying it and the excitement. And the penguins just keep going past and past and past. So we'll I quite like that it's more. cold in here as well. Oh, I know yeah. it's like meant to be Arctic or Antarctic. I know that they are somewhere, not in the other, but I um, need to be corrected on that. But it's cool and I feel like it's a great opportunity to get cozy as well, which is really nice. It is, yeah. <laughs> Let's give you our tent tour. <laughs> Got a super cute basket, little picnic basket. Milo, of course. Wouldn't be in, wouldn't be right not to have any Milo. Sour cream, the worst flavour of the Pringles. No, they're the best, they're my favourite. Oh, they're the worst. 
yes. They're the best. No, worst. Ooh. Very cute. The beds are super comfy. They're air beds, but they've got kind of like a block underneath them, so they're comfy. The duvet feels nice and squishy. Pillows feel good. There's some plants in here, which is cute. You've got fairy lights going all around. And we've got a fan in here as well, but I don't think we'll need it because it is a good temperature in here. And then the view of the penguins in front is just great. So upstairs from where we are staying at the moment is the Penguin Cove, which is where we are right now. And it is a beautiful enclosure um, and the uh, penguins are all out, which is great. Um, the lights are all on. Actually, um, the amazing thing that we found out is that the lights here mimic the lights in Antarctica. Mm. And so uh, we also have the southern lights that are, are showing. I didn't know there were southern lights. I thought it was just the northern lights, the aurora. But the southern lights are here and they are um, shining into the sky and just mimicking what the penguins would have had um, in nature as well, which is pretty cool. Um, if it was darker, we'd be able to see it a little bit better, but there was a little green hue going all over here. And we're able to see the penguins interacting as they would be at about 9.45 at night. Yeah, I just thought they left the lights on like for us yeah. so that we could see, but they try and mimic the environment as much as possible, which is great. So we spent some time talking to some of the keepers, which has been really cool, explaining a bit more of the penguins, about more of the breeding program here. And it's nice just to have the time to kind of just have that conversation and uh, be able to see the penguins and find out a little bit more about not just them, but um, what the bird paradise does for them too. It's been such a lovely evening. I am um, feeling very grateful right now for all of you who have watched our channel over the last couple of years and subscribe um, and give us all these opportunities as a result. Yeah, it's been great. And the staff here are really friendly. We've been playing some card games with them, which has been fun. It's kind of given to the whole camping feel. Like yeah. we've been camping before and everybody just kind of says hi to each other. And it's just got a really nice feel about it. And this has definitely got that kind of nice community, just hanging out, spending yeah. time together, like devices away, even though like we're recording and we yeah. haven't, We've just been playing card games and things and the kids have just been playing with each other even though they've just met which is really nice yeah it's been really nice also we noticed that we found ourselves more drawn to the early 20s guys who are working here rather than the other families because i think we're a bit mature but <laughs> young at heart so we're young at heart we're young that's what i mean heart. we're young at heart so we're turning in for the night it'll be bedtime real soon which is great you can probably tell compared to our earlier videos uh, a few hours ago it's much quieter now which is lovely um, and we're just going to chill out um, before catching some sleep um, and then we'll see you all in the morning. Night. Good night. Good morning. It's 6.38. I've just woken up. I've come outside of the tent and everyone's really cold. It feels cold out here. Almost like really when you wake up in a tent in the UK step outside and it feels chilly and it feels really fresh. The penguins are really, really active already. Husband's awake too and she's out here doing some sketching which is pretty cool. a really good night's sleep and as with camping if you've not been camping before you do hear other people around you and at first like Aspen was like I can't see there's people talking but you can hear like hushed whispers excited and laughing and I quite like that and everybody soon like settled down and went to sleep um, I did wake up at about I don't know, quarter to six I think it was suddenly thinking oh what time is it and then um, managed to nod off back to sleep and I think gradually the lights in here came on but it's funny we're indoors but it's I haven't seen any like sunlight yet so um, you could kind of not really know what time it is but uh, yeah we're all up and ready and excited to go and find out what the first thing is we're going to be doing today. Something we definitely forget when we're walking around the park uh, in the day is that the waterfalls are all artificial and so this one's not even on yet which is a bit strange. It's been uh, a lovely start to the day. We've literally just moved from uh, the campsite next to Penguin Cove, dropped off our bags and we're going to head off for some sort of adventure this morning.
This is super exclusive. We are walking through the heart of Africa. It's just us. We've just had uh, this beautiful experience and now we get to enjoy Bird Park. Uh, Bird Paradise, sorry, we're not in Jurong. Uh, before it's even opened and so uh, we're going to be walking through. We still don't really know what the surprises that we're going to be doing. I, we, I don't know, waking up birds or something, although they all seem pretty wide awake now. But um, yeah, this is just a pre-breakfast amble um, and then we'll find out what we have in store. Uh, our heart of Africa uh, care team, so they take care of the bus. We've just found out exactly why we are here in the heart of Africa. We get the chance to give the birds their breakfast this morning and to do a head count. I don't really know how you do that, they're flying everywhere. <laughs> What a great experience to be able to do this. Yeah, he's just my mate, we're gonna hang out. He's a really messy eater. This guy is a messy eater than Milo, to be honest. This morning walk is absolutely beautiful. The fact that we get to walk along exclusively through um, the heart of Africa to be able to see the birds as they wake up. Our guide, Anthony, was just telling us that this is probably the best time uh, to come out for a walk and to be able to see the birds. The reason being is because it's the morning, there's been a morning rain. The rain just stopped about half an hour ago and what happened after that is that because the birds can't do their morning feed, there's a concentrated amount of birds all flying out to go and get their food for the day um, at the coolest part of the day and so they're everywhere and it's right we can see the birds everywhere, they're incredibly noisy and uh, yeah it's an absolutely brilliant exclusive experience uh, just before we have our own breakfast. That was so much fun seeing all the birds coming over and feeding different types of birds, hearing all the different sounds, and it's nice being here just us, which is pretty cool. Aspen got a lot more confident as we went along. Um, she still wasn't so keen on those parrots. <laughs> but we're now going to go and have our breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome. I've got a little booty. Breakfast is served. We've got some sort of quiche, I think, with smoked salmon in it uh, and some pan au chocolat. Looking forward to my coffee. Okay, we finished our light breakfast because we know we've got a three course meal coming up for lunch. We've got a little bit of time now before our next experience, so we're heading into the wing sanctuary to kind of explore this section of the park. What did you see? There's a real bird. Yeah. In the. I don't know if you can see just how big this eagle is and perspective doesn't do a great job but this guy's probably up to my waist, he's enormous. It's a Philippine eagle and he's got his own little aviary here which is great. I'm not sure why he's in a, a small aviary and cooped up rather than in a big aviary. I don't know whether his wings are okay. Um, I know that this aviary is a lot bigger than the one that he had in Churong which is great but um, yeah, and most of these we hear have been rescued, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting thing to see. He's beautiful. He just stood there looking at me. <laughs> We're being brought into a top secret area that we're not allowed to film. It's not for public view, it's all behind the scenes. And so we're gonna leave you here and say goodbye. We'll tell you a little bit about it later though. <laughs> that was an amazing little experience to be able to see some great things behind the scenes. Um, if you don't know, Aspen actually wants to be a vet when she grows up, which is great. <laughs> so it was good to be able to help her see what she could be doing to support her parents in the future. Yeah. And our lavish lifestyle. <laughs> um, but yeah, even though you weren't able to see it, uh, I'm going to write about it on our blog on thewonderlustway.com where you can also uh, buy some of our merch. Here's one of the t shirts. Woohoo! Um, so do get that there. 
Um, there's loads of sizes, there's this in white as well. If you're going anywhere cold, you can get yourself a beanie. Um, and there's a, a good book there as well um, that I hear is, is a good read. <laughs> so um, yeah, head over to thewonderlustway.com. We're gonna keep bringing you along for the rest of our day here. So we're being toured around four of the aviaries. We have done this before. If you're wondering why we're not showing you many birds, this video is more about the experience that we have encountered. But the birds you can see on our video on the bird paradise, uh, linked up here, linked down below. Um, do check it out because it was an amazing day. We're actually currently in the Laurie Loft, which I'm so happy that we get to be here today. It is Millie's favorite aviary. Back in 2014 when we first came in, it was actually a little bit scared of birds altogether. And we came here and did the feeding experience. She held a tiny little pot of honey because uh, lorries are nectar feeders and they just surrounded her and covered her. And she very, very quickly got over her fear and her fear very quickly became love. And uh, I really, really appreciate Jurong Bird Park for that and everything that we've got here to at Bird Paradise. That Anthony was just saying. What's really great about having a guide with us like Anthony is that he's able to tell us little bits of information and he's so passionate about this area which really rubs off on us as well. He was just telling us about the flamingos that they were trying to get them to breed here for the longest time and then another keeper watched a documentary where the flamingos actually build like it's like a flat top volcano and lay their eggs on the top so he came here to work built one and then a few weeks later realized there was an egg on the top of one of them so now here they provide the flingos with all the sand and all the resources they need and they actually build their own nests off the ground and there is an egg on the top of one here and two really cute fluffy baby flamingos which is just awesome <laughs> to be able to get up close with the birds and Aspen was a little bit nervous like just said before I used to be scared of birds but being able to come and do this is like really really good to kind of understand a little bit more about birds and about their nature too. But so the higher you are the, the more they will come actually. What a great experience, that was really, really fun. Uh, we were half expecting the macaws to come over, but apparently they're very, very heavy, up to five kilos, and so um, they wanted to keep it safe for the kids. So we had a load of those other parity things come up uh, to us, and it was beautiful. Actually, the more I looked at them, the more detail you could see, the more uh, of the, like, the lines and the feathers looked like, you know, Ultra HD, 4K. Uh, it was amazing, really. Um, and we are just gonna take a slow amble towards our fancy lunch that we're having in a very short while. So we fed the birds and you can get involved in doing those kind of things as well. You can check online or the um, Bird Paradise app that has loads of stuff on it. Anyway, they're all fed so now we're going to go and eat too. Crimson Restaurant has spectacular views over the Hong Leong Foundation Crimson Wetlands and that incredible waterfall. We enjoyed a delicious three course meal together and took pleasure in doing a spot of bird watching from the comfort of the flamingo themed restaurant. I know we haven't really stopped to talk about the food much uh, on this little visit but I needed to pause to tell you about that pear dessert because I'm halfway through it and it tastes so festive, it's delicious. If you're coming here over December, I definitely recommend trying that out. It tastes like mulled wine, but in the form of a pear. It's got some gold um, leaf on it, as well as some um, uh, ice cream. It's just brilliant, so I'm very, very grateful. Thought I'd let you know. That lunch was delicious and a perfect end to 
a wonderful couple of days here at Bird Paradise. Yeah, it's been really, really great. All of the interactions have been fun. The feeding has been a highlight, getting to go behind the scenes, which was great. The staff were all super friendly. Yeah, they were. Joining in with some card games at night with us, like when we were just getting ready for the tents and just the knowledge that they have of this place and the birds themselves. And the passion. They don't just know yeah. stuff. They really, really love this place. And I think that adds to the experience for us as well. And um, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. Yeah, definitely, for sure. If you're interested in coming and do what we've just done, December is already fully booked, but you can start booking for the new year. And we really hope that you do come down and check it out. We have loved this experience. Again, like I said a bit earlier, I'm so grateful for um, you all watching and subscribing because without you, we wouldn't have the chance to do these things. And um, yeah, we're just super, super grateful. It's been such a great time. It has, yeah. And now we've just got free reign of the park. So we can go around and explore some of the other bits that aren't included um, in the tour as such. And we can just spend our time here until the park closes if we wish to do so. So thanks for watching. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, like and comment. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to reply. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.